Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to reverse the process. Now we're going to take a fraction and turn it into a decimal. That may be a little bit more difficult, but first let's start with the easy cases. The cases where the, where the denominator either is a 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, so forth. That makes it a little bit easier. In that case, when the denominator is a 10, then we need to turn that into a number with just one decimal place. If the denominator is equal to 100, we need to take the number and turn it into something with two decimal places. And when the denominator is equal to 1,000, we need to then turn that into a number with three decimal places. Here's the example. Here's divided by 10. So we're going to write this number, and we have one decimal place. So write the number, and then we go one decimal place, put it right there. In this case, we'll just simply put a zero in front of it. And so 2 divided by 10 is equal to 2 tenths. If it's divided by 100, again, we write the number, but now we're going to need two decimal places. Starting from here, we go 1, 2, you count 2, you put the decimal place down, and then in this case, again, we put a zero in front. Here, we're going to need three decimal places. We write the number down, but we need three decimal places. Starting from here, that's 1, 2, three decimal places, meaning we need to put a zero there as a placeholder, and then we put a zero in front. So essentially this becomes 0.012 because again, if it's by 1,000 divided by 1,000, we need three decimal places. In this case here, we're going to need two decimal places. We write the number 124, starting from the right, 1, 2, put the decimal place right there. In other words, 124 divided by 100 is the same as 1.24. Let me give it a little bit more room here so you can see the decimal place. Finally here, the last example, we have a thousand in the denominator. That means we're going to need three decimal places. We write down the number, 367, starting from the right, one, two, three. So we put the decimal place there, and then we like to have a zero in front. So that's how we convert from fractions to decimals. I was reminded by my wife, who of course spent a lot of time educating our kids in this, with this kind of mathematics. She is a really interesting trick. Well, let's see what that little trick looks like. Let's start again with the fraction 2 divided by 10, or the fraction 15 divided by 100, or perhaps the fraction here, 12 divided by 1,000. The process is pretty well the same, but it's more visual. Let me show you what we have in mind here. Let's say that you want to take the denominator and turn it into a 1. To do that, you have to take the decimal point, which is here, and move it one spot in this location. Then you do the same with the numerator, you move it one spot, and so this then becomes 0.2 divided by 1, which is 0.2. We do the same with this one. In this case, we need to move the decimal place over two spots to make the denominator into a 1, which means we need to move the decimal place over two spots to, to turn this then into a 0.15 over 1, which is simply 0.15. And here, we need to move the decimal place over three times in the denominator to turn this into a one, which means we need to move the decimal place over three spots. We're missing a zero here, put the decimal point there. This is 0 0.012 divided by one, or 0 0.012. This makes it really easy to remember how many decimal places you have to move over the decimal point so that you can write a fraction into a decimal. And that's how it's done.